Today I'm going to do a quick demonstration of how to automate all parameters of software synthesizers in Sonar 8 Producer, though this should work for all versions of Sonar 8. I had to figure out how to do this on my own, uh, even after buying the Sonar 8 PowerBook, which I recommend getting. I'm producing this specifically for the SeriousSounds.net community, so be sure to check them out, and I hope you find this tutorial useful. Um, before this started, I created a new normal project, so you'll need to start from there. Now I will insert the Zeta Plus Soft Synth and create a MIDI note to play it. And you can hear the audio as the standard synth plays here, kind of get an idea of what it sounds like to, to begin with. It's got a little bit of uh, filter automation there. Um, now, not that the presets are really bad, but we want to give them a little bit more life to fit into our little mix here. So I want to automate the release a little bit. Um, since that's something specifically you can't automate with an envelope, and uh, it's one of those nice things that you want to change on a synth in a live track. So I'm going to enable recording for the MIDI track to prepare us for a remote control here, just right down here. And now we need to set up the synth for automation. This can be done in one of two ways. The first way is with the mouse and keyboard, and the second is with a MIDI control. Um, because the two methods are similar in every way aside from how the control is moved and the additional step of configuring the MIDI control, I'll demonstrate setting it up for a remote MIDI control. So what you need to do is first start off by enabling the write on the synth. And now you need to check out the assigned controls panel, which is in the synth rack. You just click show hide assigned controls. And this is the panel here. Um, the next thing you want to do is actually get the controls assigned, so the Assign Controls button here will bring open the Synth window, and you can move the controls in order that you want to assign them. You can move multiple controls, so I'll just assign the uh, release and the envelope volume here, and then you just click back on Assign Controls, and it prompts you, it says two parameters, and you just go ahead and select yes. It'll go ahead and pop those in. You can see the controls here. So since I want to automate the release, I'll go ahead and start with that. You simply right click it and uh, you go down to remote control. From here, uh, this is standard MIDI learn from Sonar. You just move one of the knobs that you want to assign it to on your MIDI controller, which I've just done. You select learn and it automatically puts in the last MIDI control. Select OK to accept it. And you can see here, once I start moving the control, the release will also adjust with it. So I'm sliding it up, down, and uh, that's how the uh, control is assigned. So from here, you simply need to start the recording. So just go over here, start. And you could hear the release moving around there. Stop the recording and we go to play it back and you'll hear it uh, do the same thing. Sounds like I might have it a little bit there. And uh, the last thing to do is make sure you can actually see the envelope afterwards. If you right click anywhere in the gray area, go down to display automation on, you select the track you'd like to see the envelope on. I'm going to do the actual audio channel so I don't get it confused with all my MIDI envelopes that I'll be creating later on. And uh, once I close these synth windows, you can see the envelope that was created here. And uh, you can uh, adjust it after the fact as well. So this is how you make small little uh, modifications to it. You can even adjust the type of curve that you want. Um, so it's just standard envelope editing, and uh, you can hear the difference. <laughs> That's it. So it's pretty simple once you actually know how to do it. Um, hope you all found this tutorial useful and make sure you head over to Sirius-Sounds.net and sign up and uh, check out the awesome music production community over there.